Hey everyone, I've been putting this project off for a while now, but it is finally time due to an upcoming outdoor project. I wanted to figure out a way to utilize my current RC lawnmower to allow me to mount my wheelbarrow to it without having to modify the wheelbarrow since this setup is something that I would only use every now and then. I also still wanted the ability while it was mounted to the RC lawnmower to tilt the wheelbarrow forward to dump whatever contents were inside. That added some additional initial complexity to the design, but I knew there had to be a simple way to implement it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I used Google SketchUp to build and finalize those ideas and check for any potential issues. Also, if you've been following me for a while and you enjoy these videos, it really helps out this channel and encourages me to continue to make videos like these if you click on that like button. After the design phase was done, I was finally ready to start to get to work. I decided to use 1 inch square tubing to make the components that were going to be used to hold the wheelbarrow in place. I initially thought using my tabletop bandsaw would speed up this project but I forgot that the blade and stall couldn't be used for cutting metal. Fortunately, I still had my portable bandsaw I had purchased from Harbor Freight that had a metal cutting blade. To remove any burrs or rough edges on the metal, I use my disc sander, however if you own a grinder that would probably be the best tool to use in this situation. I ended up not having bolts long enough to make attaching these metal pieces to the frame a little easier, but I found a way to use what I had to get the job done. Some two and a half bolts would have probably been a little bit better if you're using a similar frame design. To make taking these additional brackets I'm adding to the RC lawnmower off and on a little easier, I wanted to weld the additional components. Now it's been over five years since I used a welder, so it took me some time trying to refigure out the proper way to weld, but in the end, everything held together really well. Next, I wanted to perform a quick test to see if the design concept would actually work like I imagined. Next, it was time to work on the rear brackets to keep the wheelbarrow from moving left and right and sliding backwards.
After all the testing was done, it was finally time to disassemble everything and get it ready to get painted. I'm not really a big fan of the ends of my square tubing being exposed so since I had a 3D printer I decided to 3D print some which saved me some money. If you're interested in the 3D printer I have I'll leave a link in the description. The moment I'd finally been waiting on had arrived. It was time to test drive it. There you have it. This was a really fun project to work on and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on future videos. If you have any questions about this video or would like to suggest a video leave a comment below. Until next time, thanks for watching.